Welcome to this uh, VHF UHF channel. So um, this is what I received with the ICOM SCR30. So in the previous video, I was showing you guys uh, that I was receiving the signal from the uh, International Space Station using only the portable um, scanner. So this is the decode picture that I had with MMSSTV. Uh, what I did is I simply put the audio of the receiver in the um, in the console to um, be able to actually receive this. So what you could do is you could use, by the way, a microphone you can use, and I'm actually going to make a video showing you how to use an app even with without any cables or anything. As long as it's quiet, you'll see that it's going to decode the same image. I'm going to actually show an example in the next video after this one. So this was the last pass for today. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of the passes are like, um, you know, starting at 3 a.m. in the morning. And I'm not going to wake up at 3 a.m. to get SSTV pictures. <laughs> but um, tomorrow there is going to be at least two pictures I'll be able to do. I have a week where it's very complicated because I have tons of appointments that I've all decided to be this week. So it makes it kind of difficult for me to, to find the time necessary to do all this. But uh, I'm going to try. Uh, tomorrow I have to leave early because I got my second dose of vaccine for COVID. So all of that together makes it complicated for a week of videos. But I'm trying to manage through all of that at the same time. So this is the picture that comes from the ICOM SCR30 decoding. Um, and it's funny because I'm not going to post a video, but the computer... Uh, decoding of the ICOM ICR8500 with the discount was kind of a disaster. Two half pictures and that's it. I actually had a better decode here than anything. It's weird because I'm starting to wonder if that discount is uh, maybe not that great for satellites. It is good for terrestrial signals. Uh, I can tell you that. Uh, a lot of the signals that I catch for it is it's pretty amazing. But I'm kind of surprised that I'm not getting uh, more performance out of it. Um, somehow, uh, and uh, for especially for space signals, it seems that my uh, mobile vertical in the backyard did a better job at this uh, than any uh, than, than my discount did for the space signals. So, anyways, we're well, going to check that out, and um, I'm going to try to see what uh, uh, other antenna that I can uh, maybe purchase or check out that could help for space signals on my ICOM and on my, uh, of course, my RSPDX. So we're going to check that out. So uh, hope you enjoyed the videos. If you do, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.